Good God morning. Good God morning. I am Rosa J doing it God's way each and every day. And I always come with a smile because my name is also Titi Laio. Titi Laio. Joy forever. Happiness is a goal. Happiness is my gift to the world. Such as this, right? Such as this. You know, stuff happens to you all the time, right? There's always something new, or should be. Something new to expand on, something new to understand, something new to accept. There's always something. I choose to have better things. Things that are happy, things that are joyous, things that I can laugh about and smile about, even if at the time that they happened, it didn't feel so good, right? God directs me. God gives me all that I need, all that I desire. He just has to let me know. I just have to let him know what it is, right? What I want what I desire. So it's been a great day this morning. Um, I, for those who know me, I um, struggle with healing my body. And we're going to get into healing in the Course in, a course in Miracles. We're going to talk about what healing takes and how we get there. Well, one of the things that um, my pastor once said is healing is great rosa and we can heal ourselves but sometimes we need help right sometimes we need help meaning she told me go to the doctors right so i went to the doctors and they put this pump i've been um i've been av trying to avoid the pump so anyway i broke down and decided to uh, allow them to attach a pump, a diabetes pump to my body. So I'm working on my, this is my first day of actually doing this. I have to just, it means that I have to do some extra testing and all that stuff before I eat. And, and, but it also means that I no longer have to give myself a shot of insulin. So that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. So let's get on with our lessons. We are here to work with A Course in Miracles, A Way to Freedom. Hey, Aisha, how are you? Long time no see. Great to have you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Joining us on this journey in A Course in Miracles, Lesson 66, right? Remember, <clears throat> The book is a way to freedom, to free yourself from chaos of the world, right? So anyway, it is what it is, and I love doing what this is, and it's my uh, commitment to do the 365 days of to freedom. So this is day 66, right? And the lesson for today is my happiness and my function are one. My happiness and my function are one. They're together. The happiness and my function, because my function is actually to follow God, right? To see and hear him and his guidance. That's my function. <clears throat> Not my purpose, but my function. That's what I do. It's also a purpose for me. That's what I want to be. That's who I want to be. So let's get on with the lesson, right? How is everyone? Please tell me where you're coming from. Um, and thank you for joining. And if you know anything about the Course in Miracles, what is your idea of a Course in Miracles? So let's begin. You have surely noticed an emphasis throughout our recent lessons on the connection between fulfilling your function and achieving happiness. This is because you do not really see 
the connection. Yet, there is more than just a connection between them. They are the same. My function is my happiness and my happiness is my function. Their forms are different, but they, but their con content is completely one. Their forms may be different, but their content is the same. The ego does not, excuse me, the ego does constant battle with the Holy Spirit on the fundamental question of what your function is. You know, your ego wants to always fight you, especially when you try to do something different. He wants to tell you all kinds of things that are not true. So does it do constant battle with the Holy Spirit about what your happiness is? It is not a two-way battle. The ego attacks and the Holy Spirit does not respond. The ego attacks and the Holy Spirit does not respond. He knows that what your function is, the Holy Spirit knows your function. He knows that it is your happiness. That's all God wants. That's all the Holy Spirit wants. He wants you to be happy. All that rhetoric about punishing God and, you know, the, the beat up God, that God who beats you up, that's not true. Today, we will try to go past this holy, meaningless battle and arrive at the truth about your function. You will engage in senseless arguments about what it is that's the point. That ego is going to fight you. You will not become hopelessly involved in defining happiness and determining the means for achieving it. You will not indulge the ego by listening to its attacks on truth. You will merely be glad that you can find out what truth is. And that's our journey. What is the, the truth? All caps, the truth. Ego wants to always tell you what he thinks the truth is. That inside voice that wants to tell you all the things that are not. And everything that he says, basically, is untrue. Our longer practice periods today has as its purpose your acceptance of the fact that not only is there a very real connection between the function God has given you and your happiness, but that they are actually identical. The function that God has given you and your happiness are the same. God gives you only happiness. Therefore, the function he gave you must be happiness, even if it appears to be different. It's still about happiness. Today's exercise will attempt to go beyond these differences in appearance and recognize a common, constant content where it exists in truth. Our only function is happiness. Begin the 10, 15 minute practice period by reviewing these thoughts. God gives me only happiness. He has given my function to me. Therefore, my function must be happiness. God gives me only function, happiness. God gives me only happiness. He has given my function to me. Therefore, my function must be happiness. You got that? Let's see who else is on. Of course, we do what we do, right? Hey, Sips, how you doing? Mr. Smith. 
So our only function is happiness. And God gives it to us. Try to see the logic in this sequence. Even if, even if you do not yet accept the conclusion, it is only if the first two thoughts are wrong that the conclusion could be false. Let's, let us uh, then think about the premise for a while as you are practicing. The first premise is that God gives you only happiness. This could be false, of course, but in order for it to be false, it is it is necessary to define God as something he is not. God is love. Love can not give evil. And what is not happiness is evil. And God can't give you that. Unless God gives you only happiness, he must be evil. And we know that's not true. And this is this is his definition of him. You are believing if you do not accept the first premise. The first premise is that God only gives you happiness. Only. That's all he does. He is love. And that's all he is capable of giving. So if you believe that, then you're on the right word, road. The second premise is that God has given you your function. So we already accept the first premise. I know I do. God gives me only happiness. And the second one is that God has given you your function. God has given me my function. My only function is to be happy. Because God is love and love is happiness. We have seen that there are only two parts of your mind. One is ruled by ego <laughs> and is made up of illusions, 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 right? Things that we think we see, things that we have pictured to be. And the other is the home of the Holy Spirit, where truth abides. There are no other guides but these to choose between. And no other outcome possible as a result of your true choice. But the fear that the ego always engenders and the love that the Holy Spirit always offers to replace it. Those are your only two choices. Which do you see as truth? Thus, it must be that your function is established by God through his voice or is made by ego, which you have made to replace it. Who are you going to choose? What are you going to choose? Your ego or the Holy Spirit? The choice is your voice. Which is truth? Unless God gave your function to you, it must be a gift of the ego. Does the ego really have gifts to give? No. Being itself an illusion and offering only the illusions as gifts. The Holy Spirit gives you truth, that happiness, joy. Yeah. The ego gives you things that he thinks or he wants to make you feel are true. But the Holy Spirit will give you true happiness. Think about this during the longer practice periods of today. Think also about the many forms the illusion of your function has taken in your mind and many ways 
and the many ways in which you tried to find salvation under ego's guidance. And we have through our job, through our mates, through our activities, through our partying. But that doesn't bring you happiness that's long lasting. True happiness is long lasting. Did you find it when you were guided by the ego? Were you really, really happy? Was it temporary? Did they bring you peace? We need greater honesty today. Remember the outcome. The outcomes fairly. And consider also whether it is if it was ever reasonable to expect happiness from anything the ego ever proposed, right? Was it? Yet the ego is only the is the only alternative to the Holy Spirit's voice. You only have two voices. That's what it's saying. Your two voices are the ego or the Holy Spirit. Excuse those little pings. They're trying to tell me that folks are trying to get in touch with me. And they're trying to get in touch with me a lot. So I apologize. I apologize. You will listen to the madness or hear the truth. Which one will you listen to? I choose to hear the voice. The voice of God. The truth. Stay out of your ego. I said mind chatter. That doesn't give you anything, but an, uh, the other way or a way away from God, the Holy Spirit. Try to make this choice as you think about the premise on which our conclusion rests. We can share this conclusion, but in no other. For God himself shares it with you, with us. Today's idea is another, another giant stride in the perception of the same as the same. And the different as different. No one side stands all illusions. All truth stands on the other let us try today to realize that the only that only the truth is true. Only the truth is true. So let's see what's going on in Facebook. Let's see who has joined us. Thank you, thank you for joining. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So let's get back to the last thing of today. You will listen, oh, no, excuse me, in the shorter practice periods, which would be most helpful today, the undertaking twice an hour. This is a form of application that is suggested. My happiness and function are one and the same because God has given me both. The point is, which one will you choose? Or will you choose both of them? My happiness is my function, for God has given it to me. It will take more than a minute and uh, just practice this as much as possible. Just by saying my happiness and function are one and the same because God has given me both. Because God has given me both, my happiness and my function are one. Be happy today. Do not let the ego take you out of that space. And when it does, just say, my happiness and my function are one and the same. 
I am Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day. Please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. There are many videos there that talk about this and other things. All about goodness. My only function is to bring the happiness God has given us. Yes. Be blessed. Namaste. I love you. I see and honor the God in you, and I am so grateful for you. See you tomorrow.